Hey guys, nice to have you all back to the channel. Today I want to show you all my camo truck before and after I pack it for my trips. Right now the truck is completely empty after six months of working pretty hard on this truck. I'm finally pretty happy with the setup right now. Yeah, six months ago I moved to America, bought this truck, painted it, undercoating, truck cap, roof rack, the whole Mad Max overland build i call it anyway let's show you all the inside of my truck the cap passenger cap the fire extinguisher light bus switch see i'm using the bag as a bed this is where i sleep yeah because i thought in the winter time i can heat up the um, front cap a little bit faster than the back and also when I park at sketchy places sometimes it's better to be in the driver's cab so I can just in case take off when I have to. Let's show you all the actual camping truck cab here. So it's completely empty right now and it's kind of nice to see. I welded the shelves inside. They are heavy duty so they won't break also when I go off-roading or stuff like that. Then I have this truck box and a storage area. So I have storage area behind here. Can lock that box up. So let's push the button here. And then I have a lot of storage for my clothing. I have my little table I want to use to edit my videos, eat of course and yeah, table work. I have also a smaller camping chair where I can sit and have a little bit more comfortable um, position to work on here. This table is actually not uh, welded to the truck, so I can unbolt the table here. Yeah, my plan was to keep the truck as versatile as possible, so um, I can remove the table, it's not welded to the frame, and I also can remove the sink back there, so um, the idea was just in case I have to load in a second dirt bike or something like that. Uh, I can do that. The truck is pretty sturdy, robust, because I have sometimes a pretty dirty job. Yeah, I come in with dirty clothing and right now it's it's just anyway me. If I would have a girlfriend one day, then uh, I probably have to start a new build. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, and the challenge was also to build this truck with the little time I had beside my uh, work. And I had to travel all the time, so I was building this uh, truck also at hotel parking lots and at the garages of them really good friends, which I have met during my trips. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. So anyway, the shelves pretty important, so nothing is laying on the floor. Storage area. So this is also a second bed here we have here. If I travel with another friend, someone can sleep here, someone can sleep in the front, even someone can sleep on the floor. I mean. There's plenty of room to sleep in this truck on the roof even. <laughs> this is the sink, pretty simple build. Just the sink on a metal frame, screwed to the truck with the tube here. So I never tested the sink actually. And, hmm. There's basically just a hole in the um, floor and the water drops out on the ground. So I just drop in there water. But um, you see guys, there's still um, room for improvements. And it's pretty bad to work on the truck in the winter time if you don't have a garage, because everything is so cold. Even the silicone, if you have to work with silicone, it doesn't stick pretty well. So just pretty harsh conditions for that. I will improve that uh, soon. I showed you all the main functions of the truck. Pretty simple build. Like I said, right now it's all set up for summertime. Like you can see the bare aluminium roof here, side walls and everything. My idea is, like I'm a travel mechanic, so I travel a lot. Right now I have to sleep in hotels because, um, yeah, it's freezing outside. I also want to spend some time in my truck and maybe go on some weekend trips. So I bought them. I bought a carpet actually, so I uh, hopefully can insulate the truck at least a little bit. So that's why I'm doing the video right now to show you the before and after transformation of my <laughs> insulation 
truck mode, cheap insulation truck mode. I bought the carpet at a thrift store and also all the blankets. So they're probably used, but I don't care. <laughs> a lot of the heat I'm losing through the floor. Oh, isn't it nice? Hang them blankets to the side here. And then I will be on my next trip in a few days, actually. Another day, 8, 8 p.m. I just came back from work, it was already a long day. Um, I'm right now in the in the base. That's my room, I packed already a little bit stuff here. So now I have to do my laundry. This is actually my clothing shelf. Yeah, I just live, live out of a suitcase. Actually, I have another one here. And this is where I'm, all my clothings come in for my next trip. Oh, this is always the case, like, you have to consider so much if you want to do so much different things. I have to concentrate and focus on my work, and after my next work trip I have two weeks of vacation, so I'm planning to do stuff there as well, so... Yeah, yeah. For those who know me. <laughs> Coffee. Ah, that keeps me alive. So this is how my roof looks like right now. <laughs> oh, I love that roof. Snowboards, BMX bike, equipment. Actually, this is supposed to be an insulation video, but um, <laughs> this is as much insulation what I have done so far. A carpet, but I packed the truck. I mean, uh, now you can see all my mounting brackets and everything simple but it works my metal shelf holds a lot of weight so i don't have to worry about that and um, yeah now i have to detail everything a little bit later near the kitchen area uh, there's more stuff I, what comes above the kitchen area here but i it's dumb, uh, dumbware in the boxes here are my blankets, sleeping bag, motorcycle gear, toolbox, <sighs> locked. <laughs> yeah, it always seems to be like super much equipment if you have everything laid down on the floor, but wow, I'm pretty impressed. Everything fits into the truck behind me. I mean, you need a lot of stuff if you want to be independent, live on a campground. Uh, cook for yourself and um, yeah, sleep in the cold. You need a lot of blankets. Yeah, if you want to work on stuff or it all comes down when you want to do a lot of different things like I want to do. Ride BMX bikes, work on stuff, motorcycles, shoot them guns and um, camping, all that and for all that you need different stuff. So this is the front area, nice and cozy. Big blankets here. Now I just have to load camo bike into the camo truck. The tires are actually that fat that it holds from alone on the motorcycle stand. That's all. Oh, it's freezing outside. And I slept in, in the truck without a heater or anything. If you have enough blankets, it's doable. And now it's 7 a.m. So I slept for over 10 hours, I think. Oh, I was done. So I basically have here my bed and the back of my seats 
and I extended my bed a little bit with some extra wood here so I can can sleep like this stretch myself all the way Whew. okay I warm up the cap here a little bit and then I'll make them breakfast in the living room <laughs> what is here truck cap on this side yeah I use the camo net to hide a little bit behind the windows but they are frozen anyway so that's not a big issue so now I will climb in the living room Now I have a little stealth mode here, so I unhook this thing and now I'm completely in the, in the stealth mode. My lighting, nice. So now I have everything with me, my toolbox, my work toolbox here, all my stuff in the back here storage area freezing the tip That's bad, how can I get to this water? Okay, now comes a good healthy breakfast for my ingredients here. Apples, nuts. Here, yeah, the bananas are one day old. Bananas are frozen. in front of the body heater here and my propane cooker here it's a little bit warmer back in the cabin right now i try to warm up the engine and then i hopefully can enjoy the day at Badlands Off-Road Park in Indiana. Woo! It probably will take forever to warm up the TW, but I hope that will be a lot of fun. Okay, guys, I think I wrap up the video here. That's um, for the topic insulation. I don't have any insulation in here. Only my blankets, a lot of them. Yeah, they keep me warm. I, I, I would just enjoy the truck now and my setup and go on some adventures. That's my plan. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching and see you all next time. Bye.